Welcome to Enter Scoop Face. I'm Otaku Superior. And here finally is a Digimon deck for you that is not trash. This is my yellow hybrid build with a splash of purple because everyone's doing it. Did you explore purple Shaman in a yellow deck? Yes, because everyone's doing it. There's only one evolution target for it. It's the Gazimons. Prevents your opponent from getting memory except from Tamer Effects. Always good. This does have an inherit if you have at least 10 in your trash. Digimon gains retaliation, which, you know, this is a slow deck. It'll come up at some point. Only other level three is Pokemon. Once per turn, when you Digivolve one of your tamers, get to memory, great. On play, look at top five, grab a hybrid or 10 warriors, so most of your stuff. And one tamer, which is again, most of your stuff. Might as well go over the tamers since they're technically all the threes in this anyway. For Zoe, obvious. On play, look at security for a hybrid or 10 warrior, which is great. That's anything this thing's gonna evolve into. And then recovery one to replace it. Also is the only tamer with an inherit. Oh, you security Digimon, get an extra 3K. 4TK and Kari, excellent tamer. Odds are you're gonna be pulling stuff out of your security or getting hit before they are, so you'll have less security cards and gain more memory. Second effect's kinda, eh, minus a thousand. Not gonna come up that often. 4BT1TK, memory fixes you to three. Look at security stack, grab a yellow card, recovery one to replace it. This is a prime target for evolving as well. Once you've got one on the board, you don't need any duplicates, so just evolve the duplicates. Three of the purple Kari it gives us purple if by whatever chance we don't have a Gazimon on board or a Shaman in the breeding area. Whenever a card's removed from security stacks, suspend this to game one. That'll proc off these two. Level fours, they're all hybrids. For Kazimon, it's vanilla. You can just evolve on top of a level three because that's all you got. For Zephyrmon, costs two to evolve onto a Tamer. You can also evolve it onto a Kazimon, I guess. When you evolve it, if you've got a hybrid or a Zoe under it, extra 3k to your security guys until the end of your opponent's next turn. Level five is where it gets good. For Jet Selfiemon, costs one to evolve this onto any of your level fours because they will all have Tamers under them. On Digivolve, you gotta hybrid in your traits, which you will, recovery plus one. Two, BT2, Rise Greymon. On Digivolve, play a Yellow Tamer. It doesn't get its on play effect. Inherit, if you have at least three Yellow Tamers, which you probably will, security attack plus one. Level six, for Shine Greymon. Being able to just nuke an opponent's board almost effortlessly is really good because you will always have a ton of Tamers in your back row. That extra 1,000 for every Tamer, meh, this is there. Just, it's good board nuke. One of the new promo Seraphimon on Digivolution. Recover one on Deletion, recover one. One Dynasmon on Digivolving, trash one of your security, look at the top six, grab two level six or lowers. Early on, that's great, adds consistency. Late game, not so much. Second deck, recover one every turn when you lose something. That includes your turn if you're trashing one of your security, such as its own effect, or when you're using TK or Zoe to grab something from security, that will proc anyway. Level seven, Tushisano Amon on Digivolution, delete an opponent's Digimon, security attack plus two, this is your win con. You can send 10 tamers from hand and trash to your deck to treat one of your tamers as a level six Digimon. Options, one reinforcing memory boost. It's limited for a reason because it's good. Reveal the top two cards, place one of those in your security stack face down and the other to your hand. It's great, you rig security and delay effect to gain three memory at any other point on your turn. Three, Schwarzla. <laughs> I can't, I'm not pronouncing right. This is why we're running purple eggs. For every Digimon with hybrid and trait, and for every Tamer you haven't played, which you will have a lot, delete an opponent's level five or lower. It's great, it's board clearing. It's probably overkill this and all the Shine Greymons. One Wyvern's Breath, just really good removal. It's rid of everything. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This deck is obviously, it's one of the better decks right now in the BT7 format. Stays fairly relevant. It can't really win the game too quickly though. And if you get mirror matched, yeah, you might go to time. Thanks for watching guys.